Apparently Sunny Scott, some people might be helped because of it. It was a dream come true. As Playboy September 1986 played, sitting pretty. You feel like a star, you know, I mean, people, you're traveling all over the world, you're signing autographs, and people are lining up around the block to get your autograph. There were the photo shoots, the Playboy videos. Miss September 1986, Rebecca Armstrong. She'd seen the magazine when she was just a kid, and as odd as it sounds, she actually dreamed of appearing in Playboy while growing up in California. What? prim and whatnot in front of the mirror. But just as everything was beginning to happen for Rebecca, I thought that I had a really bright future. Life in the fast lane would take a tragic, unexpected turn. Today, over a decade later, the gorgeous 30-year-old former pinup still turns heads everywhere she goes. But it's often a double take when people find out. Hi, I'm Rebecca Armstrong, and I have AIDS. That I horrifying revelation came just three years into her budding career as a playmate. August 1989, she was just 22 years old when her doctor told her she tested positive. I automatically thought that I was pregnant that my test results came back and I was positively pregnant. And she was like, wait a minute, I don't think you understand what it is that I'm telling you. I'm telling you that you are HIV positive. And I just hit the floor. Within three and a half years, Rebecca developed full-blown AIDS, which she believes she contracted during unprotected sex at age 16. But as daunting as the battle against the disease was, it was her own internal battle that was destroying her. How many years did you keep this a secret? I kept it a secret for about five years. I couldn't tell anybody. I couldn't talk about it with anybody. It was awful. I, just, I really didn't deal with it, and I just basically stopped living. It wasn't long after her diagnosis that Rebecca hit rock bottom. I was missing work because I was ill and whatnot, so I wasn't making the amount of money that I used to make. I lost my house, I lost my car, I lost everything, and I was bound and determined that I was just going to end it then and get it over with before the virus did. After years of trying to destroy herself with drugs and alcohol, and after two suicide attempts, Rebecca finally made the decision to fight back and go public. Now the former sex symbol has become a symbol of hope for others battling AIDS. So I'm a long-term survivor, thank God. At what point did you make the decision to fight back? I started fighting back when I couldn't take it anymore, when everything just got up to here, you know? Did you guys come with a group? Yeah. yeah. Which brings her here to New York City for an AIDS health fair and to cities and schools across the country. I went from having a lot. You know, I was, I was in the limelight. I was going to all of the huge celebrity parties. You know, I knew anybody that was any, you know, I mean, I was definitely there. Then it was all gone. To share her story and her strength as an AIDS activist and educator. Why do I do it? It gives me strength. I feed off of that. Being able to go out there and talk to people infected and affected is, is my cure. Though in the past she hasn't had the same luck with any AIDS medications, it's her volunteer work and her husband Joe of nearly two years that keep her going. He doesn't let me uh, stop fighting and I try my hardest not to stop fighting. For now, the former playmate has a job to do, one that uses her voice as well as her beauty. In reality, what is your prognosis? I don't see myself going anywhere anytime soon. Maybe one day I will have no choice but to succumb to the virus, but right now, uh-uh. No, you can't bring me down. Unfortunately, since our interview, Rebecca's health has declined. Her T-cell count has dropped and she's now confined to home. However, with some new medications that she's receiving, she hopes to be back on track by fall. And Rebecca says the only regret she has is that she didn't go public sooner. Dennis Rodman routinely goes 